Since December of the last year, 2019, few patients with fever, dry cough, normal or decreased white blood cell counts, who were initially diagnosed as fever of unknown origin with pneumonia, have been continuously increasing in Wuhan, which is in China. The agent of this unexplained infected pneumonia was identified as a severe acute resp syndrome coronavirus 2, or they call it SARS-CoV-2, which not only has a strong human-to-human -human transmission but also causes severe pneumonia and even death. This virus is so aggressive that the infection has been transmitted to other countries and as you've already um, uh, seen or you're probably aware that is a pandemic at this point. Different age groups are generally susceptible uh, and at present neonates have been also diagnosed with coronavirus. What about the transmission? The symptomatic patients with a coronavirus disease are the main people who uh, distribute or disseminate this virus. Now for uh, pregnant women, uh, obviously they're at risk for uh, COVID-19 infection. However, when it comes to the um, maternal uh, infant or the vertical transmission of the COVID-19, it's still uh, a question mark. All of the neonatal cases um, uh, that are confirmed, uh, which are only few from my understanding, um, they, um, those newborns were uh, infected uh, post-natally. Now we know that uh, children are more likely to be asymptomatic and even if they show some symptoms, um, uh, they would be mild. Neonates are not different. Uh, most of the neonates uh, probably are asymptomatic. However, the neonates, the three neonates that uh, were um, uh, diagnosed in China initially had some resp symptoms and um, one of them had some GI symptoms including vomiting and uh, diarrhea. When a case is suspected in neonate, most of the uh, NICU centers uh, around the uh, world are following pretty much the same strategies uh, in terms of the screening and management. Um, obviously breastfeeding is also uh, contraindicated uh, at this point. In terms of the management, um, there is no specific treatment. However, in neonates, um, people tried uh, surfactant probably because the infection itself will, um, you, you know, um, uh, deactivate the surfactant itself. IVIG ha um, has been uh, attempted, uh, even steroid and um, uh, pentaglobulin as well. So I just want to show you this uh, website which give you, gives you live update about the uh, cases. Um, you can uh, check it out. Uh, so as you can see, uh, there's a number of uh, cases, a number of deaths. Um, you can um, uh, see how the cases are increasing uh, day after day. And uh, you can see the uh, death uh, graph uh, as well. You see uh, the number of cases. Uh, death um, uh, cases also is increasing um, <clears throat> you can search by country if you want to search Canada we have um, 873 uh, cases with uh, 12 death now although I said um, the condition is mild in um, uh, neonates and uh, children however it can be really serious uh, causing a severe rest distress uh, and even death. Uh, the mortality rate, uh, if you want to look at it by um, age, um, most of the uh, cases are happening uh, in senior uh, people. Uh, there was no um, mortality um, in less than nine years of age up until now at least.